these are the shells from a previous seafood boil that I had and I'm just gonna stir fry them a little. Ooh. I have a steaming up like really, really on high. Making this broth. Let me take it off the fire. Ooh, that broth looks great. This is from the shells of the shrimp from a previous crab, from a previous seafood board that I had. And I just decided to make some, you know, um, broth for um, some Alfredo, you know, just to add flavor, seafood flavor to the Alfredo. All right, y'all. Wow, look at my roasted garlic, my habanero, my, my, my jalapeno pepper, my two sweet onions, and my red onion. Wow. I roasted this for like 20 minutes on 450 degrees. All right. This is the puree from the um, roasted garlic, red onion, and sweet onion, and two habaneros. It smells good, and I'm going to see how it's going to taste in with the um, Alfredo sauce. I don't think I'm going to add very much because it came up to, it really made a lot, like maybe a cup and a half. And I don't think I want to make my Alfredo that dark and I can find other uses for the roasted um, onions and, and garlic and habanero. So, okay, y'all. Oh, I put very, very minimum amount of water down in this broth oh my goodness it tastes so good so so good i'm going to add um some of my roasted items to this mixture that's about not even a half a cup yet i think i'm gonna add a half a cup of the roasted uh, onions and garlic All right, y'all, I'll come back as I add more in. I am now going to add my ragu classic Alfredo to the mix. Oh, I've added the Alfredo to the roasted garlic and onions and stuff. Wow. It looks rich and it looks really white right now, but we're going to fix that. All right, y'all. Hold on. It smells good, though. All right. I'm going to add the mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. All right. Try to add a little at a time. All right. Once I add it all in, I'll come back. Few all minutes right. after adding all the mozzarella cheese in, and I think I'm gonna add like a cup of milk. So when I after I add the milk, I'll come back. Gonna add about two tablespoons of oregano, about a tablespoon of onion powder, garlic powder. Oh, la, 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 la. tablespoon of onion powder. All right, y'all. Look how pretty. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to let it steam down just a little on low. Maybe a medium high. No, a medium low heat. And um, oh my goodness. The roasted garlic and onion. And oh God. And then the habaneros gave it a little kick. Wow, it's so good, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to add my shrimp in. And I'm going to put my, um, I'm going to put my shrimp in. Y'all see? See how them shrimp look, y'all? I just shelled them. So I'm going to add them in. Stir them around for a little sec. And let that continue to cook on low.
All right, y'all got to keep an eye on it now. Y'all have to keep an eye on this Alfredo and keep it stirred up or it will burn. So I'm warning you now. So all right, y'all, I'm going to turn it down low and I'm going to boil my um fettuccine. All right. All right, y'all, I put my noodles in and I'm just going to stir it around a little bit and we're going to present it. Oh, uh, but not before I make my garlic bread. Okay, y'all. Look, y'all. I know I'm playing my movie in the background, but wow. This is so good. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm, yes. It's going to be good. I got to add my other cheese to it, y'all. I'm going to add this on. Um, I'm going to add this. I know y'all going to let me. This Vermont Seriously Sharp Shredded Chatter Cheese. I'm going to add it. I right, let it sit for a little while, but this is how it turned out. It looks, it smells and looks so creamy and good. I'm getting ready to plate it. So, not really plate it, but put it in my casserole, um, casserole uh you ready to put it in my uh, casserole dish and um yeah i gonna put more cheese in it i'm gonna put like i'm gonna do it like a lasagna i'm just gonna put uh linguine and shrimp and then i'm gonna put a layer of this parmesan cheese from publix all right y'all let me show you in a minute here I am starting to plate it. Um, like I said, I have like a layer of linguine and then I put um, Parmesan cheese and I lay layer of some shrimp in there. And now I'm going to do it one more time and I'm going to bake it in the oven for uh, like 350 degrees for maybe 30 minutes. All right. I'll show you when I get finished. This is how it looks before I put it in the oven. I think um, I might go ham and put more cheese. But if I do, I'll let you know what kind of cheese I put. And yeah, so I think I'm happy with the end result. And we'll see. All right. Hey, y'all. Look what I got. Wow, that turned out great. I'm really impressed with it. I'm getting ready to plate it up, and let me see. I'm going to cut a little hole in this, see, see what's going on down up in there. Okay, y'all, look at that. Ooh, yes, sir. All right. All right, y'all. Happy New Year's. And I'm going to plate this up, and I'm going to see, and I'm going to present it to you guys. All right. Bye. Wow, wow, wow. This plate looks like the bomb, baby. Oh, yes. All right, y'all. Bye. Hey, Facebook. Look at these. I know y'all gonna let me. Wow. Happy New Year's. See you later. Bye. Like. Comment. Share and subscribe to Hood Place. It will be greatly appreciated. Bye.